Hey guys, it's Jen, that Catholic gamer. Today, we are finally going to talk about Catholicism and video games. Now, I've put this off. I mean, my name is that Catholic gamer. So I've put this off since I started doing this um, because I know that the discussion can go both ways and I know that it upsets some people. Um, but this is my perspective and my opinion and what I've gathered between my religion and what I do for fun. So like any type of art, a book, a movie, it's fiction. It's not real. Um, I know that there's violence in some video games, um, but we have to look at it from the fact that it's fiction and that perspective is really important. Um, I don't typically play games that are overly violent. I play lots of games. I play things like The Sims and Stardew Valley. And right now I'm hooked on Harvest Moon on the Switch. I play the Mario games. I also play World of Warcraft, which arguably has some violence in it, but it's not, it, it's not bloody or gory or it's it, yeah it's just it's not real it's very not real I mean my character is an elf um so I play some other MMOs like ESO Final Fantasy um I play the Life is Strange series um I, I like that interaction with the story um but yeah my those are my my big games um so it's hard because there is violence in video games but i don't really think that that reflects on the people that play them um i take out my frustration in video games i don't it's an outlet um and it's worked well for me. You do have to obviously balance your time. People become obsessed and that's all they do. And then it can become a problem, obviously. Just like anything, moderation is very important. Um, there are also, there's also the argument that there are other religions in video games. Most of them are made up. Some of them are reflected on real life um, and that, that, that that's a problem. I look at it as obviously it's fake. It's a, it's a video game. It's the religion in the video game. But I find very often that a lot of the, the traditions in online or in video game religions stem from Catholicism or Christianity it's kind of interesting even if they're very not real and like very different I'll see something and I'll be like that sounds familiar and then I'll go look it up and I'll be like yeah yeah that stems from Catholicism um, and I've learned a lot about Catholicism just from things like that um, it's important to know your religion and know what you believe in so I think that looking things up like that really is important, um, to finding exactly what you believe in and why and the traditions behind it and all of that. So it's really, it's made me reflect on my, on my religion way more than I probably would have. Just like if you're reading a book or watching a movie, that talks about something, some other type of religion. And it, it makes you think like, no, that's not what I believe. And this is why, or you look up and it's like, oh, this stems from what I believe. Um, there's also the social aspect that people tend to think that people that play video games are socially inept. So if you've watched my videos before, you, uh, you probably know that I suffer from chronic migraines. Um, 
Some days I can't get out of bed. Some days I cannot function normally. Um, but on my better days that still aren't great, I can sit in front of a computer for a little while and it's maybe the only social interaction that I have that day other than my family, obviously. Um, but some of my very best friends come from the games that I play online. Now, I'm an adult. I'm not saying that children should be meeting all of the people that they've played with online. I mean, obviously, if it's a safe situation and adults are involved in all of that, then that's a different story. But I'm an adult. I have, I've met some of the people that I play with, um, and some of them are my closest friends. So I have a hard time pairing social issues with video games. Um, the games that I play are very social. So I, I kind of think that that is just a lot of talk. Um, there is evil in video games, definitely. Some video games are very gory and violent, and some of them are based on real life. But at the end of the day, it's fictional. And you have to look at it from that perspective and realize that it's how we deal with seeing these things that are, that is important. Um, that's why I, I don't really advocate for kids playing super violent video games. Um, I mean, obviously that's a parent's prerogative, not mine, but I don't see the connection between violence and video games, violence in real life and video games. Um, but again, I'm looking at it as an adult who plays mostly with other adults. Um, so I don't, I don't really see that connection that's made a lot at all. Um, and I really don't think that video games desensitize us to violence in real life either. I don't think anyone is going to see some act of violence and be like, oh, that was cool. It's just like GTA. Um, no, I don't. I've never seen that happen, but I don't, I, I don't know. But for me, that's not the case. Um, so yeah, they're just, they're, they're fiction. At the end of the day, they're fiction and I try to, like I said, I try to stay away from super violent games. I don't need that. Um, but I do find that I'm able to, even in some of my video games, I've had lots of conversations about religion. Um, and it's, it's, I've always made that connection. And I don't think that making video games seem so evil is the answer. Um, so I'm going to, I'll, I'll definitely be doing more videos about video games <laughs> um, and how they tie into our religion. Um, but I wanted to start out with just a little overview about how I view video games and it needs to be in moderation. That's the bottom line is that you need to still have time for everything else in your life. And if you have that time, great. If not, then if like, if I'm super busy, obviously that's the first thing to go, but I have no life. So there's that. Um, so yeah, tell me what you guys think. Tell me if you guys play video games, because I want to know. Um, and yeah, if you like my video, make sure to like and subscribe, hit the little bell. Um, it really helps me and my channel. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I hope you have a great day and God bless.